panda. Yeah. I got brides in Atlanta. <laughs> she took the lead in the family. <laughs> Credit cards in the scammers. <laughs> Getting the licks in the band. Legacy. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, invincible. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of these martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Powerful leg kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Had a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! Slips the punch. And he landed the right hand there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Nice strike. Oh, straight right. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's the big score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He lands the kick to the body there. I need you to pay attention. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice jab up top by the Korean Super Bowl. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick, Lance. Let's get going now. Went for the inside leg kick. Choi's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Nice punch, Lance, over the top. Real sneaky body kick. Big elbow. How good is that right hand? Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Hook to the headlands, flush there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big hook. Another huge hook. Final seconds of round one. Back and forth we go. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's get just some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Strong hook lands.
big punch lands through the middle. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots. Come man, on. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. Big kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big power shot there. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Real quick leg kick. How about that chin? Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Good stick. Right punches there. Oh, nice. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He finds a home for that left hook. Oh! Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big leg kick lands. Just missed with the left there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time to pass that his boxing look this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing. It's nice, beautiful punch. Continue. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Watch the shot. Oh, straight right. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. High volume of strike. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Punch coming, it's blocked. 15 seconds. So that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him. 
over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Third round underway. Oh, and he caught the kick. Left hand punch the clinch. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Big body kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice leg kick. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighting stands. Nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Overhand right, swing and a miss. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he continues to work the body here. Just misses with a left hook there. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting it down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Good jab. Get out of there. Doubling up on the jab. Body kick. Nice punch there. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Yeah. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, straight right. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Joy's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He's making up for lost time now. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 
Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Nice punch by Choi. Ooh, what a head kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a bold and You will get the finish that you want so bad. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Liver kick. He goes right back to that left kick and lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Straight punch lands. Oh, big left hand. Yeah, there. And one more of those, he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so. Certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit in the form, right? Because the more it starts to split, that the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Well, looks as though his leg here, you can even see him limping a little bit. All right, well, he's... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He might be out. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, he's got him here. What a fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them lands on land. land. Overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet! There's no kill no on that leg. Beautiful. 
body kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down. Oh! Back to the feet. Nice punch land over the top. TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO Invincible. Oh, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up, 